So, yes, I'm grooving in my bathroom. Yes, I am actually naked. <laughs> Y'all know that I like to get people's attention in certain ways. And being six foot plus, I can't help that. So sometimes I'm like, you know what, stuff it. I'm gonna go so far out there because I want to bring about awareness of certain things. And if you know me, ah, oh, I love these songs. So if you know me, you know that I have journeyed through many things in size, shape, figure dysmorphia. And so I wanted to have a discussion today while I'm in the nude, dancing in my bathroom, and talk about some of the things that have helped me. So, like, share, and love if you're someone who is beautiful, who knows you're in a beauty, who knows you're in a glory, who knows you are here for so much more and that you are here to shine the light for others. And if you like, dance with me. What you wanna do? It's a great song. I am totally naked and I'm totally okay with it. But I will stop it in a second. Just wait for this. What's everyone doing on their Friday? Is everyone having fun on your Friday? Anybody else at home dancing naked? No? You should try it. It's amazing. Hey Carly. Charlie, sorry. Drive it. Dancing around home when you're naked is great. I love my Fridays at home because everybody else is out of the house and I get to claim my space. So, let's get stuck into it. I'll turn that off. So, what I wanted to talk about today, and this all comes to me while I'm in the bathroom in the shower. So, sorry, not sorry, it's just my most creative space. Does anybody else find that? The bathroom is the most creative space? Meh, just me. Anyway, so first off, why am I doing this in the nude? Huh. Self-acceptance, self-acceptance. I'm six foot three and have battled eating disorders, figure dysmorphia and ridicules in public by different people about my shape and my size. Um, by people who are obviously dealing with their own shit when you're getting down to it. So self-acceptance is something that I stand so strong for. And I hope that if you are, like me, <laughs> feeling strongly about self-acceptance, I hope you'll share this because me standing in the nude is me trying to make a stand for something. I'm not going to share any more of my nudeness, by the way. But self-acceptance is important. And I'm so grateful for having a great support network. I have a partner who, who are the women out here that hate your belly? I'm going to say it brutally because I know I don't want to fluff around. If you hate your belly. My partner has pushed me day in, day out about my belly because he loves it. My partner is older than me. And the beautiful thing is, is that he loves my belly. He's like, it's womanly. He's like, I wish you women would stop trying to be super skinny because your belly is your natural state. He goes, that holds a baby. That nurtures a human. That's not meant to be abs and ripped. That body is not a body of womanly energy. So that's a, that's a curious thought on its own, but this man has been with me for two years and has broken me down to the point of realizing that I'm allowed to have a belly. A belly is beautiful. I have parts of me that jiggle well and truly. And so when I stand here in front of you and talk about these things, I want to share so much value. So if you know someone or you have people in your zone that are struggling with that, that you feel would do well from this message, please share this. Please, please, please share this. So beating the internal dialogue. I've got notes written on the mirror. <laughs> beating the internal dialogue. I'm someone who wakes up in the morning and this doesn't stop. And when you've got social media and things like that, it's very hard to stay in your own lane. So beating the internal dialogue by making sure you wake up in the morning and you are finding the things to be positive about. You are finding what rocks your world. No matter how dark you are, you can always be grateful for your breath. You can always be grateful for the bed that you're in, the house that you live in, because so many don't have that. Wake up to yourself. There are people in much worse estates. Of course, there's a lawnmower next door. I'm glad our windows aren't open. Um, so, you know, changing, the, beating the internal dialogue. I get up and dance around the house naked as often as I can. Why? I'm crazy. But also because it moves me. It takes me out of my head and gets me into my body. I get to see the parts of my body and learn to love those parts of my body just like my partner does. This is essential. Find people around you that really love your inner being. And if you're surrounded by someone who is not loving your inner being as well as your outer being, sorry, time to up level. Going on to self-love. 
If you don't love yourself, no one will. If you don't love all of this, all of your being, all of your body, all of your inner and outer, no one else will because no one will know how to. Um, totally disagree. I'll read it after, I'll comment. I'll comment after. So if you don't love your body, no one else will. No one is going to understand how your jam is. No one else is going to understand how beautiful you are. If you can't show it, if you're feeling horrible and down and, 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 and within yourself, you're not going to shine. People won't notice you when you come into a room. All they will notice is that you are within yourself. So make sure that you love yourself. This is why I spend my Fridays dancing around as naked as I can for as long as I can because it fills my cup of love for me, for, for who I am, for who I can be. I'm now a stepmom to three, for, to three children. This has been the hardest journey of my life is being a stepmom because I now realize that everything I do, they do. Everything I say, everything I present, how my energy shows up, they replicate that or they start to pull it apart and question life based on what we present to them. So please, 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 please share this. Love this. Mm, changing your state. Again, I make sure that I meditate. I have like 10 minute meditations. Guys, we are all busy. Who here is not busy? Hey, Peter. Hey, Christy. Who here is not busy? I can make sure that I find 10 minutes in my day to do a quick meditation Calm my farm, recenter, and start again. It is the only way I have gotten through the last 12 months was learning to find 10 minute little windows. I can't do 20 minutes. Yo, we are busy. Hey, Katie. So, oops. So, uh, my last one that I really wanted to bring about was understanding that there's so many things that can change your state, and there's so many reasons why you need to do it. You can be vibrant, you deserve to love all of you. You deserve to be loved for all of you. And if you are not doing your internal work and you are not showing up in your greater self, no one else will know how to do that for you. So make sure you're journaling. I journal once a week. I will admit it. I journal once a week in depth. And then the rest of the week, I might write out a couple little points. I mute, meditate at least once a day for 10 minutes, at least once a day. I make sure I dance naked as often as I can. Yep, naked. You're not moving in next door. Don't think about moving in next door. <laughs> um, I also move my body as much as I can. I have an alarm set for 12 o'clock every day, one o'clock every day. And what do I do? I do my money dance. I know it seems stupid, but it works. It shifts my state, shifts my energy, and I get to just move my body. It changes me out of any state, no matter what I'm in. I have done star jumps and done the money dance in the most craziest of places. And I should start recording that. But it's more about what can I do to change my state? How can I love this body that I'm in so much more? So much more. So if you are not doing the internal work each and every day, you're not showing up in all your glory. And people don't know how to love you like you really deserve to be loved. So I implore each and every one of you, please take the time to love you more so that we know how to love you more. I'm going to go dance around the house some more to my favorite tunes because I love Fridays and I love to dance because it makes my heart sing. So if you're like me, I'd love to hear how many of you dance around your house naked? How many of you make your Fridays worth it? How many of you have a day of the week? What's your day of the week? What do you do to make yourself feel great? What do you do to be in your best state and to love you more? Adios amigos. I'm going to go dance.